But let's take the same process and let's deal with a couple of issues. Number one, what color was Adam and Eve? Now, there's a big question. There's, there's one that's going to get folks wound up. Well, it's not too difficult, quite honestly, because every person on this planet has the same skin color. So we all have the same skin color, but, oh yes, there is that darkness and lightness. But it's not to do with the skin color. It's actually a combination of 12 different genes, is what I'm told, 12 different genes that determine the lightness and darkness, along with a, a pigment called melanin. Now, let's make it simple. 12 genes, too many numbers for me, i got to go with four. Let's imagine that you've got a male and a female, and they both have big A, big A, big B, big B. And that combination is the combination that will cause the darkness, okay? And then let's imagine that you've got little A, little A, little B, little B, and that combination is what causes the lightness. All right, so Adam and Eve, were they black? Well, if all you have are big A's and big B's to pass on to the next generation, what skin color will your children be? I know you're shocked and amazed by this, but black folks have black kids. Yeah, that's deep. So Adam and Eve weren't black. All right, then, how about this? Adam and Eve, were they white? I'm sorry, most of us have grown up with pictures with the blonde hair, blue-eyed Eve. That's not accurate. Blonde hair, blue eyed? No, that's not accurate because white folks can only pass on that white combination, so you're going to end up with white children. But now let's imagine, what if, what if Adam and Eve were middle brown? That's the vast majority of the, of the color of folks that live on the planet anyway, right? Is it not possible, is it not possible to start with middle brown and in one generation to get a variety of combinations from lightness to darkness? Absolutely it is. Absolutely it is. 